Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's November 30th, 2022. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Britain is no longer a Christian nation. This according to the latest census. For the first time, less than half of England and Wales identified as Christian, a 13% decrease over the past 10 years and a 25% decrease over the past 20 years. Wales saw a larger decrease in Christianity than England. Those identifying with no religion saw a 12% increase over the last decade. And Muslims went from less than 5% of the population to nearly 7% in the same time frame. And staying in the UK, a woman's lawsuit against eugenic abortion laws has been dashed. The Court of Appeal dismissed an appeal brought by Heidi Crowther, a woman with Down syndrome challenging Britain's law allowing Down syndrome babies to be targeted in abortions. It makes me feel that I, that I didn't be here, that I should be extinct. I know that's not true, but um, that's how it makes me feel. In related news, a French priest is being penalized by his own bishop for preaching against abortion. In, armistice, in an Armistice Day homily celebrating the end of World War I, Father Francois Schneider noted abortion has killed more people than the Great War and encouraged lawmakers to end the barbaric practice. Last week, Schneider's bishop, Didier Perdé, publicly reprimanded him and banned him from preaching during mass for the next four weeks, saying silence would serve the faithful better. And in woke news, Ireland's government is now sponsoring free tampons for men. According to an editor for the Irish Independent, Ireland's Parliament building now features free tampon dispensers in men's restrooms. The revelation sparked outrage from the public on social media. Some critics have blasted the government for funding, quote, woke nonsense, while it offers government-funded housing for immigrants and fails to control cost of living and energy crises. Turning to the U.S., in a surprise move, California's governor is backing Biden for 2024. Self-identified Catholic and pro-abortion Governor Gavin Newsom recently told Politico he plans to back fellow self-described pro-abortion Catholic Joe Biden for re-election. For several months, rumors have circulated Newsom himself was considering running in 2024, a notion bolstered by his July trip to the White House during Biden's absence. But the governor insists his visit was to assure the White House of his support for Biden. And a new series of lawsuits is accusing major banks of supporting a notorious child sex trafficker. Multiple alleged victims of Jeffrey Epstein filed lawsuits last week in federal court against J.P. Morgan Chase and Deutsche Bank, accusing the financial outfits of ignoring red flags and facilitating Epstein's global child sex trafficking operation. A lawyer for the victims explained, the time has come for the real enablers to be held responsible especially Epstein's wealthy friends and the financial institutions that played an integral role. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about the link between homosexuality and clerical sex abuse. God bless you.